featured bout in the super lightweight division. We're going 10 rounds. Omar Juarez takes on Austin Dulé. And Luke, uh, I, I got to be honest, I love these early sort of prelim fights. It, it allows a, a fighter looking to bounce back, or in this case, two fighters on the rise as we open round one here in our early action. It's Elijah Garcia versus Cruz Stewart, and both looking to make a statement. Yeah, no doubt about it. By the way, Elijah Garcia, a guy who turned pro at the age of, I believe, 16, did so in Mexico. Obviously, that's the only place he could really do that. The United States, in most cases, would not allow something like that. And to get experience early and has looked tremendous. Obviously, 10 KOs through 12 fights, retiring a lot of these guys in between rounds or certainly in the middle of them. Uh, a crafty southpaw, as you can see already. And he'll take his time early. The tape shows that he'll sort of, you know, feel things out for the first round or two. But by round three, that's when he really begins to ratchet it up. This bout a eight-round contest, a contracted weight of 165 pounds for these pair of middleweights. Both came in under the agreed-upon limit. As we see that Southpaw Orthodox uh, conflict, Luke, that typically can, can be a battle of footwork, but sometimes we can see a, a, a head clash, an errant one here and there, as these two look to navigate each other's style. Yeah, Garcia, it's i got to say it's a bad sign for Stewart, who, by the way, I mean, we're very early into the first round, but... A guy like Garcia, the tape is pretty clear. He loves to pressure. Tick again, typically a little bit later, but if you already see Stewart with his backs along the excuse me, his back along the ropes, not necessarily the best sign going forward. Elijah Garcia in the red trunks, the southpaw, just 19 years old, out of the greater Phoenix, Arizona area, the six footer, active early with the jab. 12-0 with 10 finishes is Elijah Garcia entering this contest. His opponent, Cruz Stewart, 8-1 with 6 knockouts, but both letting their hands go in the early going. Elijah, Elijah Garcia, by the way, should be noted, really, again, sometimes obviously will stick behind the jab as a clever southpaw will sometimes go to the body and then mix up levels. Uh, and he has very good shot selection, but really doesn't mind standing in the pocket either if he has to. Toe to toe, phone booth fighting. He's game for it. Garcia showing that dog in him early on as he mixes it up with Stewart, who's the veteran here at age 33, but has three less pro bouts than the 19 year old Garcia as Cruz Stewart turned pro in 2018. It was fought just nine times over the last four years. Native of Rock Island, Illinois. He fights out of the Minneapolis area today. He's known as the hitman in the silver trunks, Cruz Stewart. Boy, not much of a feeling out period, huh, BC? <laughs> Getting Rock. right to it. Round one in the books between these middleweights. But, Luke, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention a Hall of Famer, the third man in the ring. It's Robert Byrd. And tonight, for the resident of Las Vegas, it's a it's a big one. The final night. And really, the le uh, to be fair, the legendary career for the referee uh, began officiating under the tutelage of fellow Hall of Famer Richard Steele. We've seen him on so many big bouts throughout the years. Mayweather-McGregor might be the highest level we've seen Robert Byrd go to, but... I have to give a reputation to a noted referee like Robert Byrd uh, to steal Joe Cortez's famous catch phrase. He is firm, but very fair. One of the most respected names in the game. And uh, uh, Luke Thomas, when you hear Robert Byrd, you know you're in good hands in a big time fight. Yeah, this is not a guy who is unaccustomed to unusual situations. He understands what to look for when about, or I should say, a fighter is in trouble. Uh, has dealt with any this number of bizarre or, you know, any other kind of situation that a boxing match would throw at him. And um, you know, certainly more often than not has handled it with professionalism and class. Robert Bird began his career in 1981, over 100 championship fights. First world title bout, Rocky Lockridge versus Tony Lopez. And tonight will be the final night for him in his home state here of Nevada. But round two between middleweights and it's the southpaw in the red trunks, Elijah Garcia, very active. Stewart meeting him. Look, the infighting between them, uh, you mentioned it. They're coming out. No, no stones left unturned here. Eight rounds to work with, and both fighters going after it. 
Yeah, what's interesting is Garcia is starting the round with a little bit of distance. You saw him in just a minute ago double jab his way inside. But then after about a minute or so, he gets right to this distance in this range. Which, by the way, I have to say, it looks like the fight is a little bit more even here. Or at least they're trading more, obviously. And so Garcia is getting hit. I actually feel like he does pretty well at his own range rather than the phone booth. But he's going to elect to fight the way he wants. Stewart doing well to meet his aggression of Garcia in the middle as they trade. In the middle as they trade. Sacrificing a bit of technique here for entertainment and down goes Stewart in round one on a left cross from Elijah Garcia. What round a nice two. shot. He had him turning at angles and found the left over the top. It actually sat him down. This fight, yep, this, this one might be, that's it. A second round stoppage for the 19-year-old Elijah Garcia, who improves to 13-0 and with 11 KOs. Lou Thomas, his opponent, Cruz Stewart, willing to mix it up, but it only took one clean, hard shot from Elijah Garcia, and referee, the Hall of Famer, Robert Byrd, has seen enough. By the way, he's so good, Garcia. Let's take a look at the replay here. Right hook lands, he pushes him off, and then he runs into the left, and there's another Ooh. one. He just set him up cleanly. BC, you saw it so often. He would push off with that lead elbow right there, and that gave him the opportunity to fire these shots that landed the, the particular of the left right there. Great job in initiating the clinch break and then finding the offense right behind him. That he just needed one punch to finish him, but you saw the the effects of the combination that set that up, especially that short right hand early that turned the chin of Stewart and put him in a position to be finished. And credit to the 19-year-old from Phoenix, Arizona, Elijah Garcia, stepping up to the Showtime Championship Boxing countdown level here and delivering a second round finish. Yeah, remarkable job by a guy this young. Again, I never really know how to feel when fighters start their pro careers as very youthful teenagers uh, in Mexico. But obviously, we know situations, for example, like Devin Haney. He did it, and not everyone's going to be Devin Haney. But certainly, you can't really argue that was necessarily detrimental to his progress, right? So, obviously, Garcia.